ओके सो प्रोफेसर बनर्जी इज ए प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स आई टी रोड की ही हैज ए वाइड टीचिंग एंड रिसर्च एक्सपीरियंस ही हैज ऑप्टेन हिज पी एच डी डिग्री फ्रॉम यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ कोलकाता इन टू थाउजेंड वन हिज हिज एरिया ऑफ रिसर्च इंक्लूड्स अप्लाइड मैथमेटिक्स डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड मैथमेटिकल मॉडलिंग मैथमेटिकल इकोलॉजी एंड इको एपिडीमोलॉजी मैथमेटिकल बायोलॉजी एक्सेट्रा He received Indo-US Fellowship from Indo-US Science and Technology Forum in 2009. He has published more than 50 research paper, papers in reputed journals. Apart from this, he has written four books and several book chapters. He has organized many workshops, training programs, FDPs, and lecture series. He has also guided many PhD scholar and postgraduate students. He also served as the editorial board committee member and reviewer for many. reported international journals he is the principal investigator of many projects sponsored by scrb canadian institute of health research indo french center for applied mathematics dst etc now i welcome you sir in this lecture it is over to you sir okay uh, <clears throat> thank you uh, but the participants are mute isn't it uh, yes sir because this will be something like i will show on the excel sheet and they will be doing that okay. so if they have any problem they need to communicate i have so, unmuted them sir yeah, they are yeah, yeah un un unmute them yeah so whenever they need uh, they can just yeah you can they can just ask me yeah okay 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 so uh well good evening to all of you and uh, so today my uh, idea is to give you some understanding about this excel sheet that we already have and uh, there are many things you can do with this excel so many of you may be familiar with it many of you may not be familiar with it so the idea is that to uh, make you realize that you can actually use excel sheet a lot uh, and it will it's quite helpful to Uh, to do a lot of uh, you know even day to day mathematical calculations so the uh, all the participants are from mathematics background or it's a mixed group most of them are sir from mathematics background sir mathematics okay okay so i request all the participants to open an excel sheet let me share the screen so i think you can see an excel sheet open and you can see some numbers so i just want you to copy those numbers 10 numbers are there kya बीसी वाला आर्ट्स फ्रेंड्स कैन बी म्यूट योरसेल्फ या सो बेसिकली वी स्टार्ट विद अ वेरी बेसिक आई विल जस्ट शो यू हाउ टू सम देम सो यू पुट एन इक्वल टू एंड एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इफ यू हैव एनी एनी प्रॉब्लम जस्ट आस्क मी and here is this fx so fx is what whatever the function you want to input so if i put this if i click this fx then this whole thing will come and i want to add the number so sum is the command so i put a sum and this sum will happen from cell to cell so this is one cell this is the second cell this is the third cell and so on so i will select this cell i will press shift i just drag the arrow key so i have selected from b2 so this is your b 
from B2 to B11. So here it has come sum B2 to B11 and you just enter and your sum is 556. Oh, sorry, 565. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Sir, I have to take another number, sir. I have to take uh, only these numbers. No, no, you can take any number. It really doesn't matter. Okay, okay, any sir. 10 okay. numbers. I just uh, put it so that you can check the same answer which I get. <laughs> that is the reason. Okay. Otherwise, okay. So, okay. So, let me... Yeah, so everybody got 565, I guess. Yes, so the sir. command is you put an equal to first. The moment you put an equal to, you can do that in any cell. Okay, not necessarily below this. I can put it here also. I put an equal to. The moment I put an equal to, this part is activated. And then I put a whatever I want to. I put this one and I put a sum. This sum. So the moment I put a sum, it give me something here. Yeah, any any question, please? OK, so this sum, it has start with B6, but I want this start with here. So I put click here. I put a colon. So from B2, it will go in this much b11 so there is an extra b2 here you can type this also it will automatically come so this is your sum from b2 to b11 and you press enter and it's going to give the same number now if you want to find the mean so what do you do if you want to find the mean so i can choose any cell here you put an equal to And if you want to search, you have to search it here. So I type mean and go. Doesn't give me anything. But then you have to look through it. So average is the word which they use for mean. So average, so average from which point? Again, from this point, V2, I press the shift, I the down cursor, and it will come up to 11. So average of V2 to V11. So obviously 10 numbers, 565 divided by 10 to 56.6. So that is also fine. Is it okay for everybody? Yes, sir. Okay. So now I want you to find the standard deviation of these 10 numbers. So you put a equal to, you go to FX, and you find the standard deviation of the 10 numbers. So let's take one minute. For one minute, I will do it, and you just see whether. It's the same thing which you got. So for standard deviation is STDV, that is the command. So you use STDV. So though this B10 has come because this is corresponding taking to this, you choose this one and immediately it changed to B2. So from this B2, you press shift, down cursor up to B11. So it is from standard deviation from B2 to B11. You press enter and this is your standard deviation.
तो स्क्रीन शॉट खींच के उन्हें नोटिस कर दी So I guess that is also okay. Does anybody have any difficulty? Please ask. Okay, no problem in that. So now I want you to write this x values and y values. This five of them, column wise. And here you put, so this is your x square, x square, and this is your x y. So here you have to find the x square. So all you have to do is you put an equal to then go to the cell which you want to square. So here the 15 will not come. As you can see, F4 will come. And then the square notation is you put a hat and then square. So once you do that, press enter and you get this value. Now once you get this value, you don't have to do for all of them. All you have to do is you bring your mouse here and you will see this plus sign. You left click the mouse button and drag it and leave it. So automatically these cells will be calculated. Once again, if I do this X, Y, I will put equal to, I will go to the X, the multiplication is star and I go to Y. So F4 into G4 and enter. So it's going to give me the value. And then all I have to do is, so when I, as you can see this cell, there is some dot is here. The moment I get my cursor there, it becomes this plus. Click the left hand button of the mouse and drag till here. So you got your XY. Similarly, you complete your Y square. So once you complete your y square, here you write the sum for the x square, sum for the y square, sum for the x y. Take a minute. This dragging thing is okay with everybody? Anybody want me to say one more time?
So I guess it is okay. So put again an equal to. So now I'm going to find the sum of all the x values, y values, x square, y square, x, y, everything. So I put an equal to, now I put the word sum, and that sum will start from here, and up to here, I will close the bracket and enter. Just see that you got these values. Okay, so basically say if you want to find the correlation coefficient R, that will be equal to covariance x, y divided by sigma x, sigma y. So if you are not familiar with this uh, formula, you just take it as a formula. So sigma x is the standard deviation, which you have already calculated here. Sigma y is the standard deviation of y. So let me put here, say, sigma x, and then here as sigma y, and say here as covariance x, y. So you have to calculate using the Excel function command. So sigma x, so that is the standard deviation of x. I will put an equal to, and I will go for the formula for standard deviation, which is given here. So standard deviation of this one, this much. Oh, already the bracket is given. So if there is an error, you can see that it is in red. So this bracket is not needed. So that's an error and enter. So this is my standard deviation for X. Similarly, find the standard deviation for Y and try to find this covariance, covariance of X, Y. So there is an inbuilt command. So just see whether you can get this covariance. somebody gets the answer for R, please provide me so that we can cross check.
Yeah, anybody got it? OK, let's calculate this sigma y first. So I put an equal to. And then the standard deviation. The standard deviation from here. Till 31. Enter. Something happened. Oh, both of them give the same. Yes, both oh. are coming yes, out of the same. Both same. Wow. Okay. <laughs> That's really weird, but anyway, came down. Okay, so for this covariance, what you have to do is you so covariance is the relationship has to be between X and Y. So you put equal to and you go here and then you just type covariance. You give go. So you can see covariance S, covariance P, cover. So covariance S is for the sample, covariance P is for the population. So generally these are all sample values. So I will go for covariance S, so which is okay. So in the covariance, I have to input two set of data. One is the X. So I will click this. And I will click up to here. This is the first one. And then I come up in the array two. So I click this. And up to this one. So as you can see, covariance is from F4 to F8, which is this and for G4 to G8, which is this. And you click OK, and you get the covariance as 61.25. And then if you want to calculate this R, so I just put R equal to. And I take this cell equal to so covariance XY. So I choose this cell, which is this value, divided by which is the front slash sigma X. I put it in a bracket. This you can do it here. Multiplied by sigma Y. Again, I put that in bracket. Now, if you, so as you can see, so this will take something like K13 by G12 multiplied by G14. And to make sure that it, both of them lies in the denominator, you just put one more parenthesis or one more bracket. So now it is K13 by this whole thing. And if you enter, so this is your correlation coefficient. Any step anybody want me to explain? Am I audible, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah please. Sir, uh, please repeat covariance again. Okay, so what you have to do, say here again, I do it. So I put a equal to and I find so if you are familiar with the covariance formula, so it is something like uh, I remove the equal to. Yeah, so it is something like uh, covariance XY is equal to 1 by n summation x y minus x bar y bar. So that is actually the formula. 1 by n is n is the total number of points and in this case it is 5. So you can either use this formula or because you are learning this Excel, so expected that I use the inbuilt formula. 
So I will put an equal to and then I go to this fx and I will search for this covariance. So if you type the covariance here and I discard the rest covariance and I place this go. So it gave me three of them. So this covariance S and covariance P. So P is generally for a population and S is generally for a sample. So these are all samples that we are dealing with unless it is mentioned that it is a population. So we will be using this S only. So Actually, we have used the formula for the population when I gave this. But anyway, it, if I use the P, let's see the difference. So I put this covariance P instead of S. And now I have to choose two values. Here you see array 1 and array 2. One of them will be the X value and one of them will be the Y value. So in this array 1, I click and you can see the cursor. So I will choose again this F this 15 which comes in the cell f4 and then i press shift and i drag it so f4 to f8 that is this whole column of value is uh, considered and then come to this array 2 through mouse and i have to now choose the y values which is again g4 to g8 so you can do like this or you can also type it no problem in that so once this array one and array two is completed, it means that your X values and Y values are selected. And this is the format which it comes. Covariance P, F4 to F8, comma G4 to G8. This is the X value, this is the Y value. And you just click OK. So it gives me now 49. So 49 you will get if you use this particular formula. Covariance XY is one by X by minus X bar Y bar. So I think let's stick to population only. Uh, so if you are familiar with statistics, then you know the actual difference between this sample and population. But let's stick with the, the, the population for the time being. So I will take this value to be 49, then 61.25. So this will all I have to do is change this to p and automatically everything will change so this comes to 49 so now if i want to calculate so uh, yeah so is this covariance okay now yes sir now it is okay okay, okay. so now if i calculate with this value of covariance i put this again equal to so this is 49 covariance divided by sigma x and I will do the same thing. Multiplied by sigma y. Again, the same value. Oh, you get the same value. M11. How do you get the same value? Okay, 13. Oh, watch out. So, okay, yes, yes. Because this is not changed to 49. So, I was just wondering, yeah, how, how that happened. Okay. Yeah. So, this is. Yeah, so uh, I guess this is okay. And we shift now to the graph part. So this is sheet one, as you can see here. So I will open, I will click this plus and you see another sheet is open. So a new sheet is open and I click.
Huh. Yeah, so I think I've zoomed it. It's visible. So quickly copy down this. And exactly in this in this order. So we are we will be plotting the graphs of this one. Sorry. Okay, so I guess you have all uh, copied down this one. I mean, so all now you have to do is yes, present yes. them in a graphical. Yeah. Any question, please? Hello. Is it okay? Okay. So what you do is you just click this. With the shift you highlight this whole thing, including whatever is written. You go to insert. And here you see so many charts. If you are not sure which chart to use, you go to this recommended chart. The moment you click this recommended chart. So all this sort of thing comes. So the best thing is I will put this one. You can put anything. OK, let's start with this one and click OK. And this chart has come. And I put it here. So you can see that now it is clear. If I put <coughs> want to put some chart title, you just highlight this. And I click it here itself. I just put animal. Click it outside. So January, as you can see the data, there are only 
eight bears, 150 dolphins and 80 whales, and you get it as a bar diagram. So this is one, and since it is so small, you cannot see that, that thing here, but anyway, it's still there actually. So with this six, you can get this much. So one sixth of this is almost negligible, so it has not come. Yeah, any questions? If I want to change this to something else, I will again click. I will go to insert. I will go to recommended chart and let's put a different kind of chart. OK, so I can get a different kind of chart. Here. So it depends what you do, what kind of information you want. So. Yeah, so the first one. Yeah, all of you got these two kinds of chart. Any difficulty in generating them? Okay, so why these two different kind of charts? It is because what kind of information you want to have. So the first one, it gives you certain number that OK on January. This is the total number you get on February. This is the total number like that. Whereas this more focused on what is the behavior of that number, whether the growth or whether it is a decay. So as you can see, the blue one is the bear. They are growing and the orange one is sort of decaying with the, uh, you know, with the months. And this ash color one is some sort of average kind of thing, which is also can be looked from here. But anyway, this gives one kind of data straightforward and this gives another kind of data straightforward. So it depends on what you actually want from the from the graph. Yeah, uh, any questions? How to plot? Excuse me, sir. Yeah. So on selecting uh, the entire table as you had shown here, somehow I'm not getting the charts uh, section activated. So uh, I'm not ev even like it is shown in gray and I'm not able to plot uh, any of the graph. Can you uh, help me okay. with that? Please? Uh, yeah, so you click this month first. Okay. OK, then press your shift button and move the cursor and it should highlight like this. OK, so this is the step one. So uh, that has been okay. achieved. Can you see it yes, is highlighted as you can see here? OK, now click this insert page. Right at the top insert. OK, did you get this sort of thing? This recommended charts and so on? Uh, these recommended charts and charts are something which are coming in gray, so I'm not really able to plot the graph from this point. Uh, they are coming in gray, it means they are not activated. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Nothing is activated like this line column. No, that that's what uh, this entire section I was in. I thought probably I'm making some mistake, so I thought of asking you. OK, let's quickly check another. So let me put like one, two, three, four, five, six. Say so put this six data. Okay. And then, as usual, you highlight that. Yes. 
Okay, then uh, again. Uh, I, I think like I'll have to get it checked because I am not getting these. Um, they are coming in grey only, so I actually can't click on the type of uh, graph here. No, uh, uh, means did did you did you type this one two three four five six? I did that, sir. Okay, highlight it. Again, go to insert. Uh, they are still grey. Yes, sir. Okay, then some some of this. Uh, I'll, I'll this get this not, thing checked. Yeah, then. this is not activated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. But uh, I mean, the moment you click this, this will automatically come. So mm -hmm. once it is activated, I'm understanding the procedure, though. Uh, that's very okay. well explained by you. Thank Good. you, sir. Okay. Uh, let's now put uh, sheet three. And let's solve an equation. A simple simultaneous equation. Let's see. Equation say five X plus one twenty five Y is equal to hundred one twenty five X plus three three seven five Y is equal to 2745. So we have to solve this simultaneous equation using x. So obviously the theory is very simple. You put it in the form A in the matrix form and your x solution is A inverse B. So I have to find the inverse of the matrix which is 5, 125, 125, and 3, 3, 7, 5. And I have to multiply it by this B, which is your 100 and 2, 7, So this is what you have to do. Okay, let's now come here. So I first put the coefficient Let me make it a bit. Yeah. So I put the coefficient 5, 125, 125, and 3, 7, 5. Why? And say this is B. Okay, so the first thing is to find the inverse of this matrix A. 5, 125, 125, 3, 3, 7, 5. Okay, here what you have to do is you put an equal to, then shift, and then highlight this 4. Uh, 
do like this. First, you highlight this four. The reason you are highlighting these four cells is because you have a square matrix of two cross two and your inverse is going to be another square matrix two cross two. So you have highlighted this four cell and then you put an equal to. Once you put an equal to, as you can see here, it also is an equal to. Now I have to find the inverse. So since it is matrix inverse, the command is M inverse. So if you just type oops, equal to M. So as you can see here, it is an M inverse. Double click it. And M inverse of what? M inverse of this matrix. So I will highlight this four. And I will close it. OK, so M inverse of B4, C5, which consists of this whole matrix, and it has come here. Now, if you shift enter, it's going to give you only one cell. <laughs> Suppose I shift this enter, you can see only 2.7 here it will come. The rest are blank. So it will not work if you just shift enter. So again, I highlight this. I put an equal to. I put then matrix inverse, which is this. I choose this matrix. I close this. And instead of only enter, I will press the control shift at the same time. And then at the same time, I will press enter. And then it will come the inverse of the matrix. So just check you are getting this on that. If somebody wants me to explain, I can. If you get it, it is fine. Is it okay? Everybody got this? Yes, it is okay. So, okay. Okay. So once this is okay, now I have to calculate what is your x into y. So this is my inverse matrix and I will multiply this by b. So again, I come here. I just highlight this because 2 cross 2 and then 2 cross 1. So again, get 2 cross 1. So I highlight 2 cross 1 and I put an equal to. Then it will be a inverse, which is this ah, before that, sorry. So I have to multiply two matrix. So it is M multiplication. So M M U L T is the. Oh. I like this. I will put an equal to and then M M U L T, which is this one. And I have to now choose the two matrix. One is this. I put a comma and the other is this. And I close this. So again, it is calculating in two cells. If it is more than one cell, you have to press the control, the shift and that. So this is your solution of the given equation. See if you get this one.
पर काम बना रहा हूँ Okay, so what I want is we can quickly have a practice. So I want you to solve this one. X plus Y plus Z equal to two. Six X minus four Y plus five Z yes. equal to Thirty-one. Okay, बेटा वो एक वर्कशॉप चली बताओ फिर भी बताओ एक सेकंड बस बताओ. Plus two y. So इसी बात पे. Plus two z. Control of the examination बात पे. Equal to thirty. Control of the examination में बात पे ना. See you up to job. Examination job. यहाँ तो एक्स प्लस वन जेड इस टू सिक्स एक्स माइनस फोर वाई प्लस फाइव जेड इक्वल टू थर्टी वन एंड फाइव एक्स प्लस टू वाई प्लस टू जेड इक्वल टू Thirty. Yeah. Please solve this. Should take more than three minutes. So if I just. So this is the matrix. This is your B. So just find the inverse here, multiply by B, and get me what is your. Let's कंट्रोल शिफ्ट एंटर सो दिस इज द इनवर्स Highlight again this equal to the matrix multiplication. This 
choose the inverse, give a comma, choose the Vs, control shift, and basically this is your answer, minus two, one. Yeah, anybody want me to explain one more time? Or is it okay? Anybody got the answer? Three minus two one? Yes, sir. So our next topic is something called. Hello, sir. Please explain once again. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So what you do is. So this is the matrix A, which is in this form, because I have to solve this particular equation. So I put them in a matrix form. This is A, this is X, and this is B. And I have to calculate this X, Y, Z, for which I have to calculate A inverse. So to calculate A inverse, so this is a three cross three matrix, and hence uh, outcome is also a three cross three matrix. So I've highlighted a three cross three cell, and then I put a equal to, now I have to find matrix inverse, and the command is M inverse. So here you can see M inverse. Now M inverse of what? M inverse of this A matrix. So I have to cal I have to choose this whole A matrix, starting from A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. This is the whole matrix I've been selected. I close the bracket. Now when I want the values in each and every cell, I don't just put enter because that will only calculate one cell. So I have to press shift and control at the same time and then at the same time I have to press the enter and you will get the all the elements of the matrix inverse. So once you get that, then you have to multiply with this B so this is my X by Z, which I have to calculate. And this X, Y, Z again, I highlight this whole cell. This is equal to, so this is equal to what? This metric inverse multiplied by B. So the command is that I have to multiply two matrices. So M, M, U, L, T is the command for matrix multiplication. So I choose the inverse. I put a comma. So I have to write two matrices side by side. So this is one matrix, I put a comma. And this is another matrix B. And I close this. So again, I need the answer in three cells. So I have to shift control. So I have to press shift and control and then press enter and you get the answer. Is it okay now? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, so as I was telling, hmm, estimation of parameters. 
so let's see okay Let's open sheet four. Yeah, copy these values. Hard to get around. एक घंटा मारे तुम सुधर जाओगे हमको बिल्कुल क्या समझ रहे हो हम अंदर डर लग रहा है हां कार्ड कार्ड बहुत सही चल रहे तुम बहुत सही रहा सब यस आइडिया कभी नहीं था मैं तुमसे कहा था यस अप्लाई करते हैं क्या सर मैं अप्लाई कोऑर्डिनेटर Yeah, can you hear me? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Yes, sir. You are doing okay. Good. Okay. So, uh, have you copied this? Because I will move. Up. I will need a fresh page actually. So, anybody? So, I'm just moving to so a new page. Could you just page. wait for a minute, please? Sure. Okay. पैसा काट लेंगे कल पेपर है सही चले किसी बार गए थे सर थैंक यू सो मच ओके थैंक यू okay so basically before Please just uh, clicking the button i just want to yes sir quickly tell you the mathematics behind it so do it here so when you estimate this that what you get is that i have some data and i want to the given data it may be straight line it may be parabola it may be hyperbola it can be any curve it's a mixture of uh, <coughs> sine cosine exponential and anything but the idea remains the same so what i do i have 
this straight line and I have this points. So I now draw this. So as you can see that this is the point on the straight line and this is the point actual point. So if I put say X. Okay, so I put say y equal to a plus x to be the equation of the straight line. Now this length you can see that this x i remains mm -hmm. same for both of them this is your x i whereas the coordinate of p is x i y i and coordinate of x is sorry coordinate of a is x i comma and the value of y is given by what is on the straight line so a plus b x i <clears throat> and while doing that, I have an error. So what is that error? The error is why I was the actual point. I am subtracting it yes, from the estimated value, which is given by the straight line. And this becomes my error. Now I have to minimize that error. So to minimize that error, as you know, I have to, for maximum minima, I have to differentiate and put that equal to zero. And you calculate the values of this A and B. So these are the parameters of the equation. I am trying to fit a straight line so that Actually, it allows this straight line half a suit again be such that this error mm. from i equal to 1 to n because there may be any n, n number of points is minimum. So we put this as e and it is known as sum of the <coughs> square of the residuals. Now, the square because to put a square here. So one may ask that the error is y i minus a minus b x i. So why not minimize that? Why I have to put a square? The reason is if your y i lies here, you get a negative value. If your y is here, you get a positive value. And if you sum the number of positive and negative values, so your error is lost it this am i audible because there was some network thing okay okay Audible. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically, the you make the square of the error, and then I have to find the values of a and b such that this e is minimum. The error is minimum, and mm. then you put <laughs> differentiate with respect to the parameters a and b. Put them. Equal to zero. So I and y i will be known. So it's very easy to either you get summation x i or summation x i square. Everything with points will be given, and you from that you will be able to calculate the values of a and b. And of course, you can check the second derivative; it will come to be negative. 
so that is <coughs> it is called the method of least squares so this is the mathematical principle behind what we will do now so is it okay okay for everybody thank you sir yeah. check the x values and y values are given now <coughs> let me check okay Okay, so the function is exponential minus bx cos wx plus phi. So I have the parameters a, b, w and phi and I have to estimate those values. So what you have to do is you first write the parameters here a say the b and five and then i have to attribute some arbitrary value so you can choose any arbitrary value it's going to converge one 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 seven yes, and then, so these are the two data which is given, x values and y values. So then I have to calculate this value. From the expression, this expression, because I'm trying to fit this particular expression to this data. So this data is given. I have given an expression has been given. So I will now calculate the value of the expression using this arbitrary value A, B, C, A, B, W and phi, which I have chosen. So here it starts with first is A, which is this. Now here is one thing you have to note. So this A, B, W and phi, why the parameters and oh. <clears throat> okay uh, it's better if i just show it okay so this is i4 then multiplied by exponential the command is exp it will come you can see exp exponential of minus b times X. So this is the X value. Bracket closed. Multiplied by sine E O S. So you will see this will come automatically. Multiplied by W, which is this times x plus phi. And so this is my y Okay, so what I've done is, as you can see, I have, this is my formula, A exponential minus BX cosine of WX plus phi. So here, this is equal to I4 
which is this one. Oops, sorry, which is uh, this a equal to one i four, and then multiplied by exponential minus b times x. So when I'm choosing x, I'm taking this x value zero for the first cell, and then as usual cosine w x plus y, and now I will drag. Yes. Now, as you can see, something happened, which is not supposed to. Why is the reason is that when I am choosing this value a equal to one, it calculate this, which is fine. Now, please uh, note the top part. This is i four. When I just move to the next cell. This becomes i5. When I move to the next cell, this becomes i6. And when I move to the next cell, this becomes i7. And when I move to the next cell, it becomes i8. And this i8 is not there, so it is being zero. So basically, this value is not supposed to change. It is supposed to take a is equal to one all the time. And if you want that, is I have to make this cell constant. All the and then this i4 the cell which I want a constant I've got i5 that will put a c and w i6 put a dollar and this i7 I again put a dollar and then I calculate this. So this is now calculated by taking this A, B, C, D. I mean A, B, W and phi to be constant. And then if I drag, this will change. Now you can see that it has changed. Faculty. You want me to explain anybody? Okay. Next, what I want is I want you to calculate. Sorry, I want you to plot these two values. So what you will do is you highlight this. Go to insert. Go to this one. This is the one which I need. And choose this one. Yeah. So, um, wait. Highlight this to actually. And as usual, you choose this one and choose this. So this gives you the series. This is the first series and this is the second series. So you can see that with these values of A, A1, B1, sorry, A, B, W, and Phi, it is not at all a good match. So uh, this is my series one. Let me. Yeah, so I think this is better. So now this is the series one, which is in dots. So that is the data. And this is from the curve that we get. 
so i need a good match of this for certain values of this a b c d so what you have done you have this y values you have this estimated values now you take the difference i will take the difference square so that is what you have done i will put this and i will take this value minus this value and i will put the so this is the sum this is the difference of the real value and the estimated value and i drag it up to here and then what i do is i put an equal to and i find the sum of the squares of all the errors so this is all the error that is the difference between the real value and the estimate value so the error starts from here and here so this is the sum of the square of the error. so this is the sum so now what i have to do is i have to minimize this error and the minimize this error with the suitable values of this a b w and phi and this is how you calculate you click this data the moment you click this data you will see a solver here now there are many who may not see it if you anybody who cannot see this solver here because you have to put this solver here so either you have put it before or somehow somebody has or you have not you will not see this solver anybody who doesn't see this solver here after you click this data this solver must be seen can you see the solver Yes, sir. We can see it. Okay. So then you click this solver. The moment you click this solver, you no, will no, see no, no, that no, 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 here no. set objective, which is this one. Okay, boy. Okay. I like this, which is E twenty six. So I have to now minimize this. So I will come here. minimize by changing the cell variables so what are the cell these are the cell 1 2 3 4 so these are the cell variables uh this you may you may not because there is no constraint so all you have to do is choose the cell where there is the sum of the squares by by changing what variables and then just solve and keep solver solutions so the moment you do that you can see now there is a good match between this and the anticipated value so and the values of a b c d a b w and phi will be this up oh, sorry it is this one this is what wrote. yeah so there is a good match between the dots and the curve and this is the estimated value which you have done here yeah any questions and you can see that that minimum minimum value has also changed by taking this value the minimum value is 0.78599 if you have any questions i will be happy to answer anybody participant you can ask questions yes sir if not i am means i am done for today
Is there any question? Sir, sir, sir can you repeat the solver pattern, sir? Yeah, so you have the solver there? Or I didn't there? get the solver, sir. Yeah, yeah. So you so what you have to do is you go to file, click the file, then click this option. Those who doesn't have this solver, most of you will not have this solver. So you have to put the solver. Go to file, click the option, and here click this add-ins. The moment you click this add-ins, here you will see Excel add-in. If you cannot find, just click this one and you make this Excel add-in and then go. The moment you click this go, this add-ins will come and here you check this box solver add-in and click this OK and you will see that this solver appears. Once again, go to file, go to this option, go to this add-ins, make this Excel add-in, click go and then this solver add-in will come. This won't be checked in general. Check this and click OK. And you will get this. So once you get the solver, so up to this much is fine. So once you get the solver, you click the solver and this window will open. So the set objective, objective is to minimize this error. So the moment you click this, this cell number will appear here. This generally was in maximum, so you have to make this in minimum. And by changing this variable, so this variable is the parameter, initial parameter values that you have put here. So you have to click this one, shift, choose the all four. So once it is done, your job is done. Nothing you have to do here. It is GRG nonlinear, no problem. If you want any other method, fine but this is fine and you click the solve and you hit here it will be keep solver solution click OK and you will see whatever initial value you have taken here that has changed. Yeah, that has changed and you will get this particular solution. Is it OK? Yes, go ahead. You are not audible. Is there any problem? Okay. Hello? Yeah. So, Harish, I am done. So. Okay. So, is there no question? So, let me thank Professor yeah. Sandeep Energy for this beautiful lecture. Uh, very useful lecture on on this Excel, Microsoft Excel. I can understand the <laughs> application of this Excel because I usually belongs to the examination section and I do most of the calculation or most of the as a duty assignment with the help of Excel. And I found it very useful. I hope the participant must enjoy this lecture because this, this hands of training lecture is very so important. I just want to show one yeah. book. This is the one which I follow. Can you see mathematical modeling yes, yes. using Excel? Yeah, so this is an Indian copy. It just costs 400 rupees. So if anybody is interested, they can buy from their local bookstore or also Amazon. Uh, you can just see the name of the, you can just Google it. You will, you will just get just the remember the mathematical modeling using Excel. So it's very handy. I mean, those are teaching mathematics. So this Excel has, you know, linear programming, then <clears throat> multiple regression, fitting straight lines, gradient method, a lot of things are there. It's, uh, sometimes it's quite handy in the class actually. So thank you, thank you all of you also uh, for inviting me for this lecture. I also enjoyed. Okay. 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 Thank I think you. that's. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah. Sure. Thank you so much. Let us conclude this session here. Again, on tomorrow at nine at ten o'clock, we will have a another session of Professor Salaf. So the participants are requested to join.